Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Freddy Santiago and for today's video, I will be doing a glam week. It's basically a Halloween look but more on the glam side as I'm already scary as it is so we don't really want to aggravate the situation. But also this is for those Halloween people who likes to be pretty rather than scary. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting with skincare, and it doesn't matter what kind of makeup you will be creating or you will be wearing, it's very important that you do your skincare and address what your skin needs, otherwise you will be judged. So I will begin with this Moisture Surge Lotion. Followed by this Moisture Surge Concentrate. And for under eye, I will be using this one from Clinique as well. And for lips, I will be using this one from Chanel Hydro Beauty. I'm going to finish this skin prep with this Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. And we're good to go. As I will be working mainly with cream and liquid eyeshadow, I will begin with the foundation first and I will be using this Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. So that's my skin evened out and I will still be coming back to it later. I will still be redoing this foundation but I think it's good to do the eyes now because I've already cleaned the edges. Starting with this black gel pencil, I'm just going to massage it on my lash line. And then I'm going to smudge it with this synthetic brush. So at the moment, I'm just creating a round -ish shape. I might wing it out later. Depends how I feel, but I just really want to diffuse the color to act as a base. And then using this eye paint duo from Stroke, this is the Midnight Galaxy. I will be going in with the frosty gray first. 
Pinky or metallic. Just applying that on the inner corner. And then using a clean brush, I'm just going to clean the edge of it. Using the other end, which is more of a black, I'm just gonna put it at the back of my hand, and then using a synthetic brush, just going to so here is where I will be creating the shape now. That's why it's very important for me to do the foundation first because of the shape. Right, so that's the shape pretty much mapped out and I will build it up as I go on. But I'm quite happy with that now. Going back again with this gel pencil, I'm now going to line my lower lash line and also connect the upper and lower lash line. I'm not taking it all the way in, so halfway through like that. And then using a pencil brush, I'm going to smudge that. Using the black end again with this pencil brush. Just going to just going to smudge that on my lower lash line as well to intensify it even more, but at the same time to smoke it out. I took a closer look in the mirror and I think it looks a lot better if I smoke this lower part rather than trying to keep it sharp. I think that has more character. So I'm just really disturbing that sharpness just on the lower part. There you go. So the eyes is pretty much done, although I might still come back to it later to add some embellishments, again depending how I feel and how I see this look develops. But I'm moving to concealing now and I will be using this one from Hourglass. Now this one is lighter than my skin tone, which is what I really want because I really want to create that highlighted and focal point on my face. So I will be
been a class that with his foundation brush. And I'm going back in again with this synthetic eyeshadow brush just to take off the edge of that concealer as well. And then moving to powder, I will be using these ones here from Charlotte Tilbury. So I will be using the lighter one first, just on the center of my face. And then the medium one, the outer perimeter. And then for contouring, I will be using this one from Kevin of One. So I really want to sculpt my face. Bear in mind that this is a Halloween look, so everything is applied three times, four times more than I would normally do a makeup. <laughs> so no judging, please. I'm also going to use a smaller brush for nose contour. And for brows, I see this already a very strong eyes. I want to really just ignore my brows. I just really want to lighten it. Ideally, it would be bleached, but I'm not really that committed. So I'm just really using this brow gel from Charlotte Tilbury to somehow lighten it up. And on the lips, I will begin with this nude liner first. the redness of my lips. For some reason, my lips are a lot more rosy today than usual. Probably because I scrubbed it. It's cold in here now, so dry and chapped lips are everywhere. And I really suffer from really dry lips. So today I exfoliated my lips. And then it decided to be rosy. Just when I needed a very muted lips. For lip color, I will be using this really nude lipstick from MAC.
go. It's almost unnecessary now at this stage, but I'm going to curl my lash and do some mascara. Right, so as you can see, I actually found a way to hide the eyebrows and it's a Halloween look, so I don't think you will be judged if you do this. So what I did is, using some lash glue and this mascara wand, I brushed that into my brows. Very brave of me. And then using these gold plates, So as you can see here, I really went ahead and built up that glitter flakes and for me that makes a far more interesting look. And you could use whatever materials that has similar texture that you could find. You could use gold flakes or glitters or if wala talaga, bigas. Kung may mahanap kayo yung 20 pesos sa kilo. Charot! Huwag bigas. Huwag magsayang, mahal ang bigas crisis. And there you have it. An easy glamour win to create if you want to be more beauty and less beast this Halloween season. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I love doing it. And as always, if there is a look that you want me to create for you, just put it down in the comment section and I will try my very best. Also, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. It's in here. And while we're at it, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and turn that notification on so you will be notified when a new video comes up. I hope to see you again on my next one, but until then, always remember, stay glam and be kind to yourselves. Bye!